It's been known for quite a long time that spherical tokamaks had exciting plasma physics properties. But what was new at the start of tokamak energy was our realization that high temperature superconductors would work really well with the spherical tokamak. And that meant more compact magnets, higher magnetic field strength, and hence a viable route to commercial fusion energy. And then by 2015, we were ready to unveil to the world the device behind me, which uses all high temperature superconducting magnets, held a plasma for 29 hours, and really proved that HTS magnets would work for a tokamak type of device. The next step was to scale up. And at that point, we took the decision to scale the magnets separately from the spherical tokamak. We knew it would take a while to scale up the magnets, but we knew we had a quicker route uh, to a device now called ST40 to scale up the, the plasma physics. And what it's resulted in is there are two very big breakthroughs. The first is to achieve 24 Tesla in a high temperature superconducting magnet which is beyond the field strength we would need in a fusion power plant. And the second is to achieve 100 million degree plasma temperature on our ST40 spherical tokamak, which is the threshold you need for commercial fusion energy. So we've proven separately two crucial parts of a fusion pilot plant. We've proven the ST40 spherical tokamak. We've also built a team capable of the most astonishing innovations with high temperature superconducting magnets, achieving resilience, robustness, quench protection. And we'll see many applications of that technology for fusion and, and many other applications over the next few years.